have you guys seen this let's break that to this one how many how many other white how many of the how many of my uh, caucasian audience in the stream chat feel the same way as this guy be honest <laughs> be honest okay be honest how many of you in the stream chat feel the same way please be honest so if if you know nearly half of all blacks uh, are not okay with white people according to this poll not according to me according to this poll uh, that's a hate group that's a hate group and i don't want to have anything to do with them <laughs> and i would say you know based on the current way things are going the best advice I would give to... Big up, Carlos, for being honest. Props to you, Carlos, 100%. <laughs> white people is to get the hell away from black people. Just get the fuck away. Where, wherever you have to go, just get away. Because there's no fixing this. This can't be fixed. Let's go back again. Let's go back again. Kevin's putting his hand up as well. Big up all the brave white warriors in my chat. Big up the brave Caucasian warriors. Kevin putting up his hand. <laughs> Space guy putting up his hand. Big up all the brave warriors. All the brave white soldiers in my stream chat. Be Black History Month is over. It's the 1st of March. You don't have to feel guilty anymore. <laughs> all right, this can't be fixed. You just have to escape. So that's why <laughs> Kevin, I'm Mexican. <laughs> okay, my bad. <laughs> oh, I love this. And I went to a neighborhood where you know I have a very low black population because uh -huh. unfortunately the you know there's a high correlation between the density. And this is according to Don Lemon, by the way. Um, so here I'm just quoting Don Lemon. What color is Dom? Le what, co what color is Dom Lemon? Hey, eh? what color is Dom Lemon? Tell us, what color is your mother? If you know that meme, you know that reference, then you know. What color is your mother? He notes that the, when he lived in a uh, mostly black neighborhood, there were a bunch of problems that he didn't <laughs> see in white neighborhoods. So even Don Lemon sees a big difference in your own quality of living based on where you live and who's there. So I, I think it makes no sense whatsoever as a uh, white citizen of America to try to help black citizens anymore. It doesn't make sense. It's, it's no longer a rational... <laughs> oh, he's a fucking legend. He's a lost cause. You might as well just put them on the boats and just send them out to the ocean. Take them out around the back <laughs> and get, close their eyes and get them to sing some sort of flipping gospel song. And the Lord said my boo boo shout to the back of the head. Oh my god, this is flipping incredible. Man just sitting in his kitchen, just advocating for the complete genocide of <laughs> African Americans. I love it. Impulse. And so I'm I'm gonna uh I'm going to back off from being helpful to black America because it doesn't seem like it pays off. <laughs> like I've been doing it all my life and I've been, the only outcome is I, be, I get called a racist. That's the only outcome. <laughs> it makes no sense to help black Americans if you're white. Uh, the, the, it's over. Don't, don't even think it's worth trying. Totally not trying. And... There we go. You didn't expect that today, did you? <laughs> but those who don't want to focus on education, you just need to get away from them. Just get as much distance as you can. That's my... So hold on, hold on, hold on. Does it mean all black people or just the ones that don't like to read? Who do you mean? I'm shocked. Recommendation. Um, and I'm also really sick of seeing video after video of black Americans beating up non-black citizens. <laughs> um, you know, I realize it's anecdotal. Come on, man. You want to take down World Star as well. What, can't we have anything? You want, you, want, you want to get them all out of your country and you want to take down World Star. Like, let us have World Star at least. Let us hold on to World Star. Right? Come on, man. Let us have that. What's that breakfast place that everyone kind of fights at in America? What's that called? That place where you guys have all day breakfast and people always fight in there and shit. <laughs> What's that place called? <laughs> What's that place called in America in the chat? Where you guys love to fight, Americans. Doesn't matter if you're black or white, you guys love fighting in there. 
Waffle House. That's the one coin. Like, yeah, Waffle House. <laughs> let us keep. Let us. Let's black. Let us. Let the black Americans, uh, the African Americans, let them keep World Star Hip Hop and Waffle House. Right. Le- let them keep those things at least. Come on, man. Come on. He's so out of order. <laughs> and you know, it doesn't give me a a full picture of what's happening. But every damn day, I look on social media, and there's some black person beating the shit out of some white person. I'm kind of over it. I'm over it. Right? So I, I quit. <sighs> what an absolute legend. I'm sorry. What an absolute legend. I swear so if, to God. If, you know, what an absolute <laughs> legend. That's the kind of guy, legitimately, my experience, or in my opinion... He's the one that should be complaining about being shadow banned. Brendan's out here saying he's being shadow banned because his views aren't getting as many videos. His videos aren't getting as many views as they used to because he's a terrible podcaster. And maybe people have maybe seen he might be the not the greatest human being because of a personality. He might have some reprehensible traits. So they naturally decide to, you know, to back off. But he thinks that's shadow banning. He thinks people are legitimately shadow banning him. When he doesn't have any racy opinions, he doesn't necessarily ever come out and talk like like <laughs> talk like that, <laughs> right? That's actual shadow banning. Like if for sure, he's definitely felt some consequences off the back of this. There's no denying that. You know he's felt some consequences, <laughs> right? I, I swear you think he's felt consequences. I swear to God he has. Um, but yeah, oh my God, man, what an absolute psychopath, mate. He just decided to kind of just get his camera out and just, you know, lay it bare. Just speak his truth, innit? So, good luck to that guy. You're hoping the same things that happened to flipping Kanye happens to him, right? He's going to lose every single deal under the sun. You know, he's going to not have to be able to, you know, his, his Chase Bank is going to get shut down. Well, no, obviously it's not going to happen, you know? But yeah, you'd imagine so. But yeah, it's, I find it hilarious. Oh, that was absolutely... When I saw it the first time, I legitimately did think it was an AI thing, but, you know, it was too well done. I knew it was definitely real. So yeah, so um, big up. What's his name? Is it Adam Scott? Adam Ray? I forgot the Dilbert guy. Um, big up him. I guess in some respects, I guess that works. 